Hello, and Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Flint Hills, and we're uh, currently witnessing Auto Drive unloading course play on field four. Here, I had to call it field number here a minute, everyone. Uh, Auto Drive is currently unloading course play successfully. We are making progress on the field here so far. I think we're what, maybe half done here. So if we look at the map, oh, actually, more, more than half done. More than half done. Actually, we're almost done on field four, everyone. Uh, course play, of course, is doing the harvest. Let's get out of the way here. And Auto Drive is doing the unloading as well as the uh, trucking, I might add, over on the uh, the truck side over here. The trucks are running over there. Uh, so everything is looking pretty good on this field. Uh, we got stuck one time on this field, everyone, with course play. It really wasn't Auto Drive's fault. Uh, it was these uh, piles of straw right here. <laughs> you can see the unharvested bit. Uh, yeah, course play got stuck on those. And uh, that, that really, again, wasn't really anybody's fault. I would say I won't blame course play for that. And, uh, yeah, auto drive certainly did not have anything to do with it. So, I uh, got stuck once. Was it once on this field? I don't know. Once between episodes, anyway, everyone. Once between episodes. I don't think we didn't have, uh... We got stuck one other time, too, didn't we? It wasn't, uh, again, I don't think it was anyone else's fault, was it? I don't know. Anyway, losing track how many times we got stuck on this field. It's for sure, like, once, maybe twice at the most. Uh, so, yes, John Deere X9 still running over here, harvesting the, uh, oats. Uh, again, almost down over here. Now, everyone, you could probably tell from the uh, uh, the next field here, uh, field 10. This is Course Plays Field. Um, I don't know if you folks notice anything. It doesn't maybe look quite as harvested. I, you know, I'm just, just pointing that out here. Uh, auto Drive's field. Field 4, Auto Drive. In fact, everyone, uh, if it wasn't for uh, Course Play getting stuck on that pile of straw, then this field probably would have been done. Like, completely done. Would have been done, done. Uh, I'm guessing here. But, uh, course play on the other hand over here, field 10, you know, uh, and I on purpose didn't fix them so I could show you folks. Uh, otherwise, of course, they might have been a little bit further along. Well, maybe, maybe it wouldn't have. It might have just got stuck again. I, I don't know, everyone. But, uh, anyway, somehow course play has managed to do this. Um, uh, I don't know, you folks got any? <laughs> I, I don't know. It looks like what's happened here, everyone, course play has finished up the headlands. And it is now starting to go up and down. I think that's what that one little narrow path in the center of the screen there is. I think, anyway. Uh, your folks' guess is as good as mine. But anyway, uh, course play and course play here are a little uh, stuck up. So, yes, we'll uh, we'll see if we can uh, get this uh, sorted out here. Uh, come on now. Oh, that's right. Got a double tap now. That's right. Uh, updated version of the uh, Lumberjack mod, everyone. Uh, and now you got to double tap the Alt E for it to uh, for it to work. Okay, and then we'll uh, head over here a minute and see. If we actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and load here. Well, I'll just go ahead and unload a minute. Otherwise, oh, oops. <clears throat> Let's see there. Otherwise, uh, oh boy. It's off to a great start here. Otherwise, of course, it's probably just going to crash again here. Okay, well, waiting for that to unload here. Where exactly? I think course play must have been headed there. Hmm. I guess I'll we'll have to figure this out, everyone. Yep. So, uh, for, for all you folks out there saying uh, course play, now that does not look right, does it? That does not quite look right. Uh, you know what might be best? Everyone, it looks like course play finished this. I'm just going to start uh, course play back over here. Oh, wait a minute, though. You've been going. Huh? Hmm. I'm not sure, Evan. I'm not sure. Well, let me uh, try going this way here. I don't know why he was over there then. That Okay, I've got no clue, Evan. No clue. Anyway, I was about to say, Evan, there. Um, as you folks were uh, saying there in the comments, at least a few of you folks, anyway, say course play works perfectly fine. Um, hmm. I don't know. You, you folks that say this, you have any explanation for what happened on this field? What? Uh, this is not the only derp that's happened on this field, Evan. 
Uh, course play has needed constant, con almost constant babysitting on this field here so far. Uh, just, yeah, all kinds of random derpy, derpiness, right? Oh, that's a lot of overlap there, course play, just saying. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be that way, I don't know. Oh, you know what, I should probably get a driver going here again, right? Uh, yep, uh, let's start you at the, uh, shouldn't you have an, oh, there it is, the unloading point. And then the trucks over here should be rolling as well. Um, of course, I haven't, haven't had any problems with the trucks, per se. Okay, and we're back here. Everyone looks like uh, course play has uh, filled up here since the uh, brief uh, clip there. I had to pause a minute. Uh, let's see. Did I miss something here? Why are you not? Uh, did I forget? Uh, I forgot to set. Let's see. We are on field 10. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay. Yep. Now we should be going, everyone. So, yes. Yeah, looks like the harvest is uh, rolling here. We'll have to see once how many uh, more times uh, course play is going to derp up on this field. That one, I'm sure it's... Uh, yeah, place your bets, folks. Place your bets. What are we up to? I don't know, half a dozen times now or something like that on this field here now. Course play is... Uh, it happened once off... Well, actually, I guess technically it happened twice off screen. I fixed it once. Or is it once? Yeah, it was just once. I think it was just once when I fixed it off screen here between episodes. And then, of course, that that one happened. Everyone, the uh, header was, like, tucked in between. I'm like, oh, my goodness. I'm just... Uh, we're just going to leave that one so you folks can see that one. And uh, see the type of things that when you have to put up with course play. Now, again, keep in mind, everyone, I'm using the most recent version of course play here once that um, disappears there. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I think they upgraded it here again like a day or two ago. So never mind. Uh, I might actually be a version two behind. It's 0045 here. I think we're now in version 0006 or 7 or something like that now. Uh, of course, by the time this video goes live, it might be further on than that. But uh, at the time I started this, I this was the most recent version of course play. This was the one everyone says, oh, it works great and all this good stuff. At least for the folks that said they used course play. Anyway, they said it worked great. A little close there, course play. A little close. Um, yeah, definitely a little close. Side offset is auto. Yeah, I'd rather not change that because, again, I want to know auto drive is set to auto as well. And auto drive is working just fine over on this field here. I think it's more of the derpiness of how course play is lining up to it, to be honest. I mean, I don't know, think it's necessarily the offset so much, which, yes, setting the offset might help, but I don't think that's the uh, the bigger issue, if you will. Okay, let's see. Yeah, course play definitely uh, missed a little bit. I had uh, I was going to hire a worker for this, everyone, but did I hire a worker not work with a cultivator? I forget why, but I did I ended up not being able to hire a worker here for some reason. I forget why, so I ended up using course play for this job. And yeah, of course, uh, of course, but tends to miss a little bit in the corners. Probably not the end of the world. It's a little dark. Oh, it's gonna rain. Really? We're gonna get rained out of harvesting here pretty quick, or not? Really? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's uh, quick uh, clean up these uh, corners here a minute. Of course, I'm gonna remind you if you haven't uh, done so already, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. Always very much appreciated. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, Make sure you do that there as well. Okay, all that good. And all that's right. I think we need to fold this cultivator up because, again, something's not quite right with it in the lowered position here. This is another one of the mods from LR Mod, if I remember correctly. Seems like he has some really nice stuff. He just maybe needs to uh, do, do a little more air checking, a little more quality control on his mods, if you will. We're still stuck at 13 mile an hour. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Something's... Uh I'm guessing something's uh, messed up with the cultivator here, preventing us from going full speed. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Um, you know what I could probably do here? I, mean, I don't know if this will work or not. Let's uh, give it a try. I want a delivery course here to... Uh, where do we want to go? I don't actually have a main farm. I did have one at one point. I mean, I think I removed it. Let's go produce seed. That'll get us close enough, I think. Driving to destination. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what's what happens. Oh, and that's right. I just remembered everyone. I forgot. Off screen here, I was going to create a uh, course down to... Where was the cell point? Was it Fairbanks Cattle and Feed? Wherever the cell point for the silage was, everyone, I completely forgot to do that. So, we might just work on that here this episode then. Probably really should have a truck for selling silage. You know what? And I've got just the uh, perfect one in mind for that. 
possibly the one we're also going to use in the future here for actually... Yeah, do you want to get... Uh, let's maybe go green. How about some red and white? Common to see trucks like that around where I live. Everyone, so I think that looks pretty good. And let's bump that up to the max horsepower. Sure. And uh, like I was saying, that one probably be uh, attempting to use this here. Cover open on this? It does. Uh, attempting to use this next time we do some uh, chopping here with auto drive. So kind of uh, looking forward to uh, testing that out. And again, we did some chopping here. Oh, is that a couple episodes go with auto driving and work beautifully? Other than the auto detect feature sometimes failing to auto detect. But you folks, actually, you know what? I don't know if anyone really had any suggestions for that. Other than uh, create a course around the field, but that's not a very big field, that one, so I don't know what was up with that. Okay, let's get auto drive open here, because we're going to need the edit mode. And also, let's double check and make sure I know where I'm going here. So we are going silage. Uh, you can stop any time truck there. We go. Uh, Fairbanks cattle and feed. Yes, that is the place. Where uh, course or auto drive that auto drive is. Ooh, that's kind of a weird spot. Not sure what auto drive's doing over there? Um, no idea how we're gonna connect this. I want to figure that out. We'll come back to that. I'm gonna start recording. Uh, sure, right about here. And I probably could have filled this up, but eh, why would you do that for? Going the right way, right? We just gotta zigzag something down here. Not sure how you actually get down to the place once we're down here. I guess we'll figure that out. I should look at that first. Minor details. Minor details, he says, as he has no clue where he's going. Oh, there's a road there, too, isn't there? Take that road. That does not show that road on the map, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like that road continues on, so we're just going to keep going this way then. Probably should do a better job in case I have more than one truck on this course, which with the amount of silage we have might be beneficial. Although again, I mean, one of the nice things about auto drive here, if I do uh, screw that up like I did back there, and you can just go back and uh, you know move those courses around just a little bit. This uh, truck it uh, goes nice and quick, so it shouldn't take us too long to get here. Hopefully, again, keep in mind this is a 4x map here, so it takes a little bit of time when you're. Whoa, my goodness, that. Uh, whoa, boy, stop, <clears throat> stop truck. Okay, that 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 was not good. Nope. That's <laughs> let's uh, stop recording there. We're gonna delete a couple waypoints here. That is the uh, delete one. Yep, delete that one. Delete that one. Delete that one. Delete that one. Back, back out here. Might have took that corner just a little hot. A little too hot there. How about somewhere in there? That looks like it's probably pretty good. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, close this map down here just a little bit. Okay, now we can start recording again. And we'll have to reconnect these up here a minute. I will do that here right now a minute before I forget. We're going in this direction. Make sure we get the arrow space in the right way. Otherwise, auto drive will not like it. Ooh, shortcut. Yep, I like the looks of the shortcut. We'll take the shortcut. Okay, and I presume this is the road we need to get into where we're going to. Again, I have not been down to this part of the map at all yet, so a little bit new to me. Haven't really actually done much exploring outside of the uh, area where we are currently working, everyone, so I, yeah, 
have not actually explored much of the rest of the map, which is usually a little unusual. Usually I kind of uh, take a minute and you know drive around the map in places, but I have not done so in this case. Oh, this is uh this is the cell point, huh? Um, right. Now there is a way to do a backup course with auto drive if I remember correctly. I have one. What? Reverse drive, alt to delete. Uh yes, okay, okay. Looks like we're probably gonna have to back in there, but unfortunately, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? That is like super annoying. But we got auto drive, we can give this a try. Why not, right? Let me uh, delete a couple of waypoints here again. I wonder this might be uh, might be a learning experience, maybe? I, I don't know. Well, it's going to be a learning experience for me because I have not done this. Other than the fact that I know that supposedly auto drive supports this. That's about all I know on this. Let's see. If we're going to do a backup course in here, I wonder how are we going to attempt to do that? Be the best way here because that's not a real great spot to even back into. Okay. And let me connect these up here a minute, too, before I forget. We maybe pull up in here, everyone. And then can I set uh, reverse driving? Nope, that's the wrong one. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got a left shift, reverse drive. No. Left shift. Left alt to delete. No, I want left shift, reverse drive. Hmm. No, that's actually not what I want. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe you don't have to do that. I see it looks like you got a different line. Maybe uh, Auto Drive knows enough to uh, do that. Or either that, it is actually on. Actually, now where is the cell point in this area? You know what? I might be beyond it here. back off here a minute. Looks like it's actually right in front of the building there. I'll stop recording. We're just creating more. I don't need more. Get rid of the ones we have back here. Okay, then start recording again and drive back forward. And stop recording again. Yes, this is going to be a mess. This is probably going to be a mess. We'll see once how this goes. Not entirely sure. I'm going to move that here. Oop. That there. And then connect that to that one. There we go. Okay, start recording again. Now we're going to connect that one to that one. Okay, no idea if this is going to work out, but we're going to give that a try. And we'll uh, we'll see what's what happens here. Caterpillar is in traffic. Uh, oh, that's probably the one waiting behind the other one. We've had an awful lot of messages sitting on the screen there. We should maybe go check on that. Caterpillar's reached the overload point. Hmm. Well, at least on the way back, everyone, we got a nice uh, path we can follow back. So getting back to the farm here should be no problem. And again, we don't actually have to go all the way back, everyone, because we do have a course that ends on the road or that corner there by the farm. Okay, better make sure we slow down here. wonder how auto drive is going to handle this truck with the brakes it has. I mean, I guess we'll have to find out here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, for those of you who've uh, used some of these uh, Buster's trucks before, uh, well, you'll probably know the uh, the braking situation on these is um, 
questionable at best. And some of the trucks are definitely far, far worse than others. I don't happen to remember now off the top of my head, I wonder if the uh, side of the truck here is one of the, thinking it must be one of the worst ones, because even unloaded here, when we're, yeah, brakes are meh. Of course, that being said, we're going like 50 mile an hour here, so I suppose it's somewhat reasonable. If it doesn't, uh, you know, 80 mile an hour, does, if it doesn't feel that fast, that's for sure, but. It says we're going that fast. 96 mile an hour. Yep. Yeah. Don't feel that fast. Put on brakes. Oh boy. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's okay. We stopped in time. And we'll stop recording. Now, I should be able to. I would just click from this one here to that one. And then from this one to. And I'll probably go all the way over there if I could. And then we'll see what's up that work. Oh, and you know what? I completely forgot to do one. I completely forgot to put a waypoint over there, didn't I? You know what? We can just uh, tab over there. I think. No, I need a vehicle, don't I? Uh, hard to get good help, nobody's. Hard to get good help. Okay, back we go. Completely forgot, like, the most important thing. I mean, we need a waypoint over there, so I uh, auto drive knows where to go. Yeah. Okay, back we go. Turn off the edit mode here, at least for the moment. And at least everyone, once we're back over there, uh, we have the waypoint created, then I can just tell Auto Drive to drive back to the farm here. We'll see what's if this course even works. And I might have to, if the uh, backing up part doesn't work, I might have to go look and see what's how the actual backing up. I do seem to recall there were some special directions with it. But here again, I want you all know, auto drive obviously updated here in the last uh, few months. You know, are those directions that you used to have to follow actually correct anymore? I don't know. We'll find out. Definitely a bit of a drive back over here, that's for sure. Also see some uh, more uh, potential. Definitely be a great multiplayer map here, everyone. Uh, for anyone looking for a good multiplayer map, definitely some nice uh, farmyards about as we're driving here. Also rather like this uh, short <laughs> that comes in handy. Not sure why they'd have one of those there, but anyway, whoa, my goodness, okay. Okay, we're back to that nut. See, professional driving. Don't do not try this at home. I repeat, do not try that at home, kids. Uh, professional stuntman driver here. Must have been just enough of a bump road there. I know we're playing on uh, Deer Country USA. I've one on the multiplayer servers, and uh, on the railroad tracks there, there's a bump. If you hit it just right, oh my goodness, it'll throw your vehicle all over the place. Okay, yeah, we're going to set that, uh, let's see, I want that one, there. no, that's not the one I wanted, okay, we're going to do this instead then, connect that to that one, no, not that way. There, got rid of the line finally. Oh, come on now, really? What are you doing that for? There, we want to go from this one, this one, come on. There it is. That one. Okay, and then create a waypoint. We want, let's see, what do we want on this one? Uh, silage. Silage cell point, I guess. Sure. Okay, now we can turn edit mode off. Okay, so why was that bringing, that, was that the one? Yeah, that was the one everyone that was bringing up. Left shift, yeah, that wasn't that the one everyone earlier that was bringing up the waypoint thing? Huh. I don't know. 
Might have to go back and check that. Anyway, we want pick up and deliver. We're picking up from... Now, I don't necessarily have a load point here, but if we pick up at the... Where is... The one for the chaff and or silage. Unload chaff at the farm. That one might actually work, so we're going to give that one a try here first. Otherwise, I'm going to have to create one over there. For the silage cell point, of course, and we are doing silage. There is no... Oh, there's silage. Me, everyone, is that list, like, a whole lot shorter? Okay, no idea what happened there, everyone, but that is a short list from what I remember seeing. Yeah, what happened to my list? <laughs> used to be when you had to scroll up and down the list here, and there was multiples, and used to be a whole lot more stuff on there, I thought. Oh, I wonder if it's because this is all that this truck will support, maybe. Maybe that's why it is. That could be. Out of curiosity, if we go check another truck, everyone, is that... Is that why? Or has something else changed? So let's go back to... Uh, that one. Oh, yeah, okay, must be something with the truck, everyone, because these trucks have... Like a whole crap ton more, like a whole lot more. Okay, anyway, doesn't uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, is everything going okay over here so far? Okay, auto drive everyone is almost finished. Uh, again, I, mean, I won't necessarily consider this a timed race per se. I want to see once you know force play versus auto drive can finish first. I am mainly looking at everyone to see once which one can do it with less dirt. Uh, so far, auto drive has won that hands down. Not even a competition here. Uh, course play has uh, proved itself yet again to be the derp king, shall we say. Although once it's going up and down, it seems to be doing halfway decent. I'm surprised it hasn't screwed up at all yet. Better not say that too loudly. It's probably going to be here at some point. Won't take it long. I would imagine I mean, if uh, you know, course play had not uh, screwed up here, course play probably would have been quite a bit ahead of auto drive, I would think. Not 100% sure on that one, but... Oh, that's right, too. I need to get rid of those waypoints in there, don't I? Yeah, next time we harvest the field auto drive, we'll have to do that. Uh, field the Oh, field lemons ready to harvest? Uh, what a shame. What a shame. Hello, inside a grain cart. Let's see once here. Well, that might be next episode, then, everyone. Next episode, we got some... Ugh. Leafy green parrots to harvest. I wonder if we just put the 26, 23. Would you folks count, uh... A uh, John Deere 2623 is a, a carrot harvester, because uh, it sure, uh, sure meets the carrot harvester qualifications, if you ask me there. And, you know, again, everyone, that's the John Deere uh, 2623 uh, carrot harvester. That's uh, that's a pretty good uh, carrot harvester there, if you ask me. How's the rest of our fields looking, by the way? All ready to harvest, except for five. Five is not ready to harvest. Uh, is there any weeds on five? Did I get that? Oh, that's right. We don't own five anymore. Never mind. We said screw it to five. Uh, we could probably do, maybe put some uh, slurry and or manure on four. When we did that with uh, field nine here, Evan, that seemed like it worked uh, okay. Uh, we are just, of course, buying the manure, but we do have some digested, but I don't think we have enough to really make it worth our time to even do anything with it. I think we'll just uh, stick with buying it. Anyway, got the John Deere 9330. For those of you who seen that here oh, a couple episodes back, and we got the great big... I think it's an in-game one, right? Pretty sure that's just the in-game Samson. 36 meter spread width. It's the job halfway decently done. And in theater, everyone, it should be cheaper than fertilizer, right? Maybe? I don't know. At the very least, I mean, we don't have to put as much fertilizer on. It's kind of the goal. We got three headlands around this field. Three times 18. Oh, what is that? 54? I think that's 54 meters, right? So that means we got plenty of headland. If I do one, really probably should do two headlands, though. Uh, I think, oh, yeah. Auto drive is going to have this done in a moment, everyone. Might not be quite before the end of this episode because we're going to get this going, everyone. It's time to wrap it up for this episode, probably. But, uh,. Okay, back, back up here a minute a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, of course, like, can uh, figure itself out there a little bit. We're a little off, but not too far. So, course generation, field four. 
Let's do, yeah, we're gonna do two headlands. That sounds pretty good to me. Generate that course. Oh, and before I forget, I wanna when we're using course play here, I should probably really set the setting here for late and early. So when to raise, we wanna go late. When to lower, early. I think it worked fine on the other field, but we're not gonna take any chances here. Oh, and speaking of chances here, how are we looking on the precision farming? Everyone completely forgot to check that. Yield is looking great on this field. Great yield. Uh, we're gonna do soybeans here again, everyone. That's the plan. Uh, looks like we're getting really close to outdated information. In fact, I bet we got one more harvest, everyone, and we're going to have to rescan that field. Uh, oh, speaking of rescanning, everyone. Uh, request analysis. Okay. Uh, over the weekend here, when I got a lot of comments from folks saying they did not have the option to request analysis of a field. Um, it is still there yet for me. I wonder there was some question. Maybe the new updated version of Precision Farming broke something. Uh, in my case, everyone, the request analysis. Uh, so for those who have the uh, Precision Farming Add-on mod, I think that's the name of it. It's on the official Farming Simulator Mod Hub. Again, that's the uh, Precision Farming Add-on mod, everyone. Uh, don't know what else it does, but at the very least, it gives you the ability to hire, if you will, a worker to scan your fields. So all you got to do is just pay a bunch of money. That's really all it is and wait a little bit of time. But yes, if you have that mod, everyone, you can request a field analysis. You have to be on the soil type screen for that, though. Uh, again, from what I understand over this weekend, I mean, a lot of people said they were on it, but it still wasn't working. So I don't know what to tell you folks on that one, other than the fact that it looks like it is working for me. Obviously, I'm not going to do it right now because it doesn't need to be scanned. But anyway, uh, on that note, everyone, with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and till next time.